G-Thing. Brought to you by the more than 72,000 people who believe wellness is a journey we take together. Northwell Health. For people in cities like New York, getting back and forth to work during a pandemic may mean taking several elevator rides a day to and from their offices. So how do we protect ourselves? Pulmonary critical care physician, Dr. Sami Kanijo says there's at least one thing everyone must do. Wearing a mask is vitally important, especially in an enclosed space like an elevator. So in the elevators in New York, in these high rises and offices as well, there's not that much space. You are not getting six feet apart. What are you supposed to do in this environment? Wearing a mask is important. You know, trying to observe uh, as much precaution as possible. So if there's two people in an elevator standing diagonally opposite, which gives you the most distance between the two people, if there's three people standing almost in a triangle formation where one is in the front and two are on the sides in the back, or two in the front and one in the back, um, again, to give you as much space as possible. When it comes to pushing the button. Using a knuckle works, using an elbow works, uh, but making sure to use hand sanitizer or some sort of Purell afterwards. Part of what we rely on is us working well as community, us working well as, as, as neighbors and friends and, and colleagues, um, that if there's one person by the button, instead of everyone walking in as we used to and pressing the buttons in front of that person, maybe that person can help press the buttons for us. How do you catch it in the elevator? Now, certain times in the beginning, I wore gloves, then I didn't heck with that. Then I pushed the button with my knuckle. And uh, then when I came back, I washed my hands. But how does it how does the virus besides floating through the air how else is it attached to an elevator well so it lives on the surfaces it lives on the buttons it lives on the walls it lives on the the ceiling of the elevator it's also hanging around in the air from someone that may have been in the elevator before you what are the chances of getting coronavirus in the elevator the elevator is a closed box especially as the doors are closed and you're riding up and down where you're in a closed surface where there isn't ventilation where there isn't good airflow, and so viral particles are there. Your chances of catching coronavirus are probably higher in an elevator than they are out in the general public. And that's why a mask is so very important, to decrease the viral spread along with proper hand washing. Dr. Connie Joe says now is the time to exercise patience. If the elevator is at capacity, wait and take the next one. We can get through this, we just have to do this safely. So for me, the safe bet as a weatherman is if the door opens up and people see me and I got the forecast wrong, they're so fed up, they leave, I walk in and I got the elevator to myself. Bingo, what do you think? Exactly, but I, okay. I seem to get the impression that no one is gonna walk away from you. <laughs>